I think I think we'll um, we'll wrap it up. We, we wanted we wanted to make the point. We're not here to be a grievance to anybody. And I, I've got a scripture here, and I want everybody to be quiet to hear it because I got this only last week, and it applies right now. And there's a warning in it for those people that are doing what they're doing. And it's in Isaiah 10. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. God's word is true. If we, if we look at it, you'll see it now. God's revealing his word right now in this time. And it's a light in the darkness. And that's why I'm able to do what I do now, because what God's allowed me to do, it's not by my strength, it's not by might or by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I'll get back to Father. I've got one more thing to add. And this is what created me to go on this journey. When I was 10 years old, my dad sat me down and he said to me, I want you to listen to this. There's going to come a day where they're going to tell you to put a microchip in you. No. Yep. Yep. He goes, I want you to make me a promise. My dad said the same. You do not, you will not accept no, no, no. that bit of technology. No, no. And I said, Dad, what are you talking about? Yes, before that doesn't microchip. make sense. What are you talking about? He goes, listen to my words. I made my dad a promise when I was 10 years old. So I'm going to read one thing. And this was written hundreds of years ago. I just need to find it because I put a few things on here. Um, wow. Okay. Almost there. Okay. So I want you to listen to this. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in 